Hey y'all, Coach Jenna Fight here, talking about the Feast of Jeroboam, that feast that occurs on the 15th day of the 8th month. In this class, we're going to talk about the few verses that talk about that event. Now, this Jeroboam character, this was, as I remember it, the servant or the servant's son of Solomon or something like that. And he ended up splitting the kingdom, taking who we know as Israel or those other 10 tribes north, while the two tribes that we refer to as Judah went south with Solomon's son, Rehoboam. But one thing that this Jeroboam did, or maybe even the most significant thing that he did was to actually cause this kingdom to split was he had a feast similar to that, what we call tabernacles, except he did it in the eighth month. So we're here in first Kings chapter 12, and we're going to look at uh, verses 31 through 33, just bringing out the highlights of these festival days. And toward the end of this video, we'll show you how to know when this day actually occurred. Well, let's start here in verse 31. It says, and he made an house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. Now, this is talking about this Jeroboam character, but there's actually a lot going on in this verse when you think about all that he did. These high places are what we would refer to as today as churches, the church buildings that have the steeples on them, or and maybe some have crosses up there, um, trying to make their place higher than others. It seems like it's the only purpose of the steeple. Well, that's actually what it's doing. It's actually been made into what we know as a high place or a place of worship. Then it says, and he made priests of the lowest of the people. So this would should remind you of kind of like what the Catholics did. Um, not necessarily that they were the lowest of the people is that the um, so-called popes at the time um, hired priests of their own sort. who they, pro they hired who they wanted to be in those priestly positions. But then it goes on to say, which were not of the sons of Levi. Now, this is important and particular to the Bible, because this is who was supposed to be um, the priests in the first place. It's the sons of Levi, or who we refer to as the Levites or um, the firstborn males. Um, matter of fact, let me let me just look that up right quick. Just to show one verse on it, that's uh, Numbers chapter 3 and verse 41, which says, And thou shalt take the Levites for me, I am the Lord, instead of all of the firstborn among the children of Israel. So there is a, a connection, a biblical connection between the firstborn males or the firstborn of the each family and these priestly positions. So this Jeroboam, he chose otherwise. He he chose other people to fill these positions. Then you see right here in verse 32, it says, And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month and on the 15th day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah. And he offered upon the altar. So did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made. And he placed in Bethel the priest of the high places, which he had made. Now, these priests of the high places, this should remind you of Jezebel and her priests. But you see this Jeroboam, he's actually mimicking the seventh month feast, Tabernacles, and he's doing it in the eighth month. And he's doing it intentionally. It's not on accident. Um, He's kind of purposely steering the people away from the Lord's feast. And you see here that he offered upon the altar. Now, anytime you hear that being talked about in a negative context, that should always remind you of the abomination of desolation or that guy we know as Antiochus Epiphanes back there during the Maccabean time. Because like you see right here, he's sacrificing unto calves that he made, not calves that our father made, but these are creations of his own hands. These are idols that he's making these sacrifices to. And in these places where he's making these offerings, you see he's put these priests that he's uh, hired in and, you know, put them there in these places, in these high places. 
Then verse 33 says, So he offered upon the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth month, even in the month which he had devised of his own heart and ordained a feast unto the children of Israel. And he offered upon the altar and burnt incense. So this is no accident. Like we said, is he's doing it intentionally. He's created idols. He's hired in these priests and he's mimicking the feast in the eighth month. Now, what's a little tricky here is where it says the feast unto the children of Israel, because like we mentioned earlier, you had Judah who is still keeping the other feasts, the other two tribes. This was the, the biggest split or biggest division. I believe they even went to war over this was that they were keeping feasts and eating food sacrificed unto idols and such, essentially. Now, before we go, let me show you when this day will actually occur in the year 2021. Now, we're looking here at the Hillbilly Homestead Celestial Calendar for the eighth month or the month Heshvan. I think it's sometimes called Chesvan or something like that. And we see that the 15th day of the eighth month falls on Sunday, November the 21st. And it actually starts this evening on the 20th from the 20th, November the 20th until the evening of the 21st will be uh, this um uh, eighth day celebration so if anybody invites you to any parties or any kind of festivals on that particular day you might want to uh stay home but with that we're going to go ahead and close this video out if you have any questions or anything put them down in the comment section we'll be glad to talk to you about the calendar and remember that the next feast or the next holy feast will be hanukkah which will actually be two months later so we'll get prepared for that and we won't worry about this, this festival of the eighth month. And with that, we're going to say shalom and see you in the comment section.